Hello there, 3D printing enthusiasts. I'm here at 3D Platform with Mark Hubner to discuss a common problem in 3D printing, which is print time. Now, a lot of you guys are utilizing the desktop printers, which is, you know, about this size, and prints generally pretty quickly. But at 3D Platform, they make large format 3D printers, which causes some issues with print time. But here, they've come up with a solution that they call Fine Fast Finish. Mark, can you tell us a little bit more about the solution? Sure, absolutely, yeah. The, the fine end of it is really those desktop users you're mentioning there. They're used to the fine end of it here. And, and what you see here is a volcano extruder. And it's what you'll find on most of those desktop units. You can get down to nozzle sizes like 0.2 millimeters. And you can get some really fine surface finishes. So yeah. we can do that. We can put a volcano on our printer. And what you're holding there takes about 30 minutes to print that out in okay. a thin wall. It's uh, not very strong because of the thin walls, but, no, but it's, uh, very... it's very fine finish. Yeah. And so that's the fine end of the scale. Okay. But here at 3D Platform, like you say, we make big printers, right? So we're talking meter and a half by meter by, by 700 millimeters tall. So big area. Yeah. And if you're printing this fine and it's a big part, it's going to take a long time. I would imagine. Yeah. So we've developed a line of extruders to help address that problem. And no one else in the industry has this range of capability and I'll walk you through it real quick That'd so be you're used to the fine end the volcanoes here using a standard 2.85 filament and uh, we do that but then you take a step up okay and this is a HFA extruder all okay? right it uses that same 2.85 filament and what you see here is represented as a half hour of printing so, so you same can, time as same time as that same one time as that. right here except you've okay. got more volume of plastic you're able to print now, some ways we can do that is the mechanisms inside of here. You can push a little more plastic. Plus, there's some nozzle range things. Here, you notice we only go up to 1.2 yeah. millimeter with the Volcano. Here, we can get up to a 2.5 millimeter nozzle. So it can go a little faster. So you can push more volume of plastic that way. Yes. Yeah. So these are both air-cooled. Okay. But then you want to go even more plastic, you can go up to the Why HFE not? 300 here. And again, using 2.85 filament okay, and a good. good nozzle range size, starting at one millimeter up to two and a half millimeters. Now what you're seeing here, there's your half hour of printing. All right. Now your nozzle got a little bigger. So yeah, you're, you're noticing there the surface finish is a little bit rougher. But it's sturdy. But it's stronger part yeah. because your beads bond together more and you're able to push more volume of plastic, right? Yeah. So this one now is not air cooled, but it is liquid cooled. Okay. Okay, because that transition zone, you've got more plastic heated up yep. so you can push faster. So you have to cool it before it gets in here. All right. Makes so, a lot of sense. Yeah. So then you can step up to the big boy here. This is the HFE 900. And I noticed the diameter of filament is much larger. Yeah, yeah this is six millimeter here. That's so much. a lot more plastic. Yep. And then you notice this is longer, so you have that transition zone is longer, so you have more plastic that's heated up at, at one time, so okay. you can push faster and a lot more volume. And guess what you can do in a half hour? This. There you go, yeah. That's pretty cool. And you notice here, a <laughs> little rougher surface finish because your nozzle size is here. You notice you can start at one millimeter, yeah. but you can go all the way up to five millimeter and really push a lot of plastic that way. Yeah. But uh, so that gives you a good idea within a half hour's time frame. What kind of volume can I really expect out of these extruders? And that, that's what makes us different is being able to offer that range of extruders. Now, one point here that may be interesting for folks is you notice this slide thing here yes. on each one. Each machine has a mounting plate, and then the extruders fit on these slides. It's a matter of four bolts. You can lock them in. So I could be printing something really fine in the morning, yeah. finish that job up, and I need to go to a, to a, to a high flow extruder yeah. later. I can change that, reset my Z height, calibrate it. And it's not, not instant change, but within 15, 30 minutes, I can change from fine to fast or the other way. And so I have all kinds of flexibility with these extruders. That's wonderful. So, yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching. For more information, click on the links below or send us a message and we will see you for our next solution.